हेलो एंड वेलकम कोडर्स टू द स्काई कोडिंग फ्यू डेज एगो आई हैव अपलोडेड टू वीडियोस फॉर द फुल स्टैक प्रोजेक्ट्स वन वीडियो वाज रिलेटेड टू द सू फुल स्टैक वेबसाइट एंड अनदर वन वाज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक वेबसाइट ओके दीज टू प्रोजेक्ट्स आर बेसिकली रिलेटेड टू द जावा ओनली एंड दीज टू प्रोजेक्ट्स सूज वेबसाइट एंड द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स वेबसाइट आर मेड यूजिंग द स्प्रिंग बूट ओके सो आई हैव अपलोडेड द वीडियोज ऑन द यूट्यूब फॉर दीज टू प्रोजेक्ट्स ओके एंड आई हैव गिवन यू द गिट लिंक एज वेल सो दैट यू कैन जस्ट यूज दीज प्रोजेक्ट्स फॉर यूर आई मीन इंटर्नशिप और फॉर यूर कॉल okay so some of the guys are facing problem while installing these projects in their systems okay and some of the guys are also facing the errors while doing the configuration of spring with the mysql or the uh, any of the database which they are using okay so we will basically discuss these thing and we will do the installation of these issues website in this session okay and we will see that uh, if we will face any type of error then we will try to solve that error okay so i will just basically do this thing and i will tell you that how can you install this Uh, any of the project full stack project in your system okay and how can we solve those errors okay so suppose that i want to install this i want to run this project in our system okay so how to do this thing okay so suppose that this is my project okay so first of all i will just download this project from here okay so suppose that you want you also want to do the configuration of this and you want to install this project in your system so you have to first of all download this project from my github link okay so all of the github link will be given in the description box you can download suit project or the electronics or the grocery store there are basically Three, four full stack projects which I have made and I have uploaded the videos on my YouTube and the source code is just given on the uh, GitHub repository. Okay, so as you can see, my code is now successfully downloaded. After that, what you have to do? After that, you have to just extract this. Okay, after downloading the source code, you have to extract this. Okay, we are just doing the installation from the basic. Okay. Uh, so that uh, you can better understand this thing without any of the error okay because while doing the configuration with mysql it's uh, showing some of the errors i got this uh, review from some of the uh, uh, subscribers who watched my channel okay so uh, as it is now extracting so just wait for some time till it's extracting and after that we will just import this project in our uh eclipse or in our spring tool whatever you are using okay you can use the eclipse and you can just uh, go to eclipse marketplace and you can just uh, uh, download the extension of the spring from there or you can just use the spring tool suit 4 okay the latest version is 4 going on okay so just wait for some time till it's extracting okay it's 81% okay so now let me tell you that what are the requirements what are the prerequisite which you need to run this project in your system okay so first of all you need a java jdk okay uh, okay so uh, let me uh, write here okay so let me write here then you will uh, better understand this okay so first of all you will need java any version of java and after that you will need spring spring tool suit okay spring tool suit you will need spring tool suit or you can just download the eclipse as well okay you can use any of these things spring tool suit or eclipse and after that you need a mysql okay so these are the three things which you basically need for running this project okay so we have all these things java is installed and i i will just use this spring tool suit and after that mysql i am having okay so now i have just uh, extracted this and this is my esop and guys here you will see this is the database queries which is basically sql queries which you have to run in your mysql for doing the configuration for just creating the tables and for inserting the data okay and this is basically the deployment manual and this is the basically the source code okay and here are some of the screenshots as well and this is basically a sars documentation and this is our presentation okay so this is basically our esop project okay so what we will do we will first of all just import this project in our sts okay so for importing what you have to do you have to open your spring tool suit as you can see my spring tool suit is open now you have to move to the file after that open project from file system after that directory and after that you have to lo locate that uh, where your project is uh, there okay so e commerce whose project is in my downloads folder and this is esop and now we will just select this okay and after selecting it will show import as maven okay so it is basically a maven project so import as maven after that you have to just simply click on the finish okay 
now it will download and update this maven and it will uh, means download some of the dependencies spring starter web dependency it will download it will download for hibernate it will download the dependency for the mysql connector okay so it will take some time okay it may take to 10 to 15 minutes okay so what you have to do you have to just simply uh, wait for some time 10 to 15 minutes it will download all of the dependencies and you will see here esop and here boot will be written in the uh, bracket and dev tools okay dev tools we are using here so that we don't have to just rerun our uh, project again and again okay so that's why i am using the dev tools here in this spring boot project okay so now it's just being updating it is showing update maven project configuration zero percent so it will just move to hundred percent and after updating it will build so it will hardly take uh, 15 to 20 minutes okay so what you have to do you have to just wait okay you don't have to do anything and you don't have to expand this project okay before it's updating okay so when it's up updated then we will be back okay so guys you can see it's now successfully being updated and you can see here it is showing boot and dev tools okay as i have told you that it is an spring boot project that's why it is showing boot and we are just using dev tools so that we cannot means we don't have to just uh, rerun our project again and again while doing any of the changes in our project okay so this is our project okay this is pom.xml file which is having all of the dependencies okay so after importing the project into your uh, eclipse or the spring tool suit you have to just open this uh, resources file and this is application.properties file okay so you have to just open this and you have to do the configuration of this according to your uh, database that whatever the database you are just using okay so after that you have to just open your mysql okay as i have told you the prerequisite that you need a mysql workbench as well okay so i will just open my mysql workbench okay so this is my mysql workbench okay so after what i will do here you have to just create a one database here okay so for creating database you have to simply write one uh, query here okay uh, create uh, database uh, this is basic sql query okay create database and after that uh, let me give the database name as esop okay so you have to just create the database okay and uh, let me refresh this and you can see esop database is now created okay and now you have to just fire some of the queries here okay so you have to just open that uh, project which you have downloaded from my github account and here you will see one uh, folder for database queries okay there is a one sql.dump uh, that text file okay so you have to just open and you have to just do control a and control c you have to just copy all of the sql queries from here and we have to move to your sql workbench and you have to move to any of the query tab and you have to just paste all of the queries here okay so you can see all of the queries i have pasted here and now what you will do <clears throat> now you don't have to create the tables okay you can just create the tables or you can just leave as it is okay because i am using the hibernate in my spring boot okay so tables will be automatically created okay after tables will be created and then we will just insert the data into our tables okay so now you can see we don't have any of the table in our database and we are not going to create the these tables in our database okay i have given you the code of this uh, create the tables okay you can create the tables or you can just leave as it because hibernate will just automatically create the tables in our database okay after uh, hibernate will create the tables in our database after that we will just insert the records into those tables okay so now this is all about this and now you have to just move to this application or properties file in a spring tool and here you have this is our database name okay so my database name is same okay i have created the database by the name esop okay so database name is same and my password is root and my my uh, username is root okay my uh, my sql username is server name is uh, username is root and password is also root okay so you have to just change this according to your password okay whatever password you are having you have to just give your password and username okay so after that you have to just save this and rest all the things will be same my sql 5 dialect and we are just giving here update okay so if uh, I, I am having already the table so that tables will be just replaced okay so now what you have to do you have to just simply run this okay and it will just by default run on the 8080 port okay if your uh, 8080 port is already running means uh, some of the another thing is using your that 8080 8080 port then you can just change your port as well okay so for changing your port what you have to write you can just simply write server dot port okay server uh, server dot port is equals to and you can just give any name 8085 okay you can give like this way 
ओके सो दिस इज बेसिकली द थिंग ओके सो लेट मी राइट दिस थिंग ओके बिकॉज आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू चेंज द चेंज द पोर्ट ऑफ माई सिस्टम बिकॉज आई एम ओके विद एट जीरो एट जीरो ओनली ओके एंड इफ अवर एट जीरो एट जीरो इज वर्किंग मीन्स सम अदर प्रोसेस इज जस्ट यूजिंग दैट पोर्ट देन वी विल जस्ट चेंज अवर पोर्ट ओके सो आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट यू कैन चेंज यूर पोर्ट बाई दिस कोड ओके सो नाउ वी विल जस्ट रन दिस ओके सो आफ्टर रन एज एंड वी हैव टू रन दिस एज स्प्रिंग बू टाइप ओके एंड नाउ वी विल सी दैट इफ यू विल फेस एनी ऑफ द एरर देन वी विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व दैट एरर ओके सो नाउ यू कैन सी इट्स सम डाउनलोडिंग सम ऑफ द थिंग्स एंड आफ्टर दैट लेट लेट मी डू दिस रिमाइंड अगेन लेटर एंड नाउ यू कैन सी कोड इज नाउ सक्सेसफुली रन एंड यू कैन सी इट हैज फायर्ड दीज आर द एस क्यू एल क्वेरीज ओके विच आई विच यू कैन सी दीज एल्टर टेबल दीज टेबल्स आर बींग क्रिएटेड नाउ वी विल जस्ट चेक अवर माई एस क्यूएल दैट वेदर अवर टेबल्स आर बींग क्रिएटेड और नॉट ओके सो यू कैन सी दिस इज टेबल्स इज ऑफ डेटा बेस नाउ वी विल जस्ट रिफ्रेश दिस एंड वी विल सी ओके सो दिस इज द टेबल्स and i can see all the tables are uh, successfully created okay there, we don't have to create these tables by this code okay these tables are automatically being created in our uh, database by default because we are using just uh, that uh, hibernate okay so that's why these tables are automatically created okay now we can just move to the 8080 port on any of the browser then it will work okay so let's uh, move to the browser and now let's uh, write here https and after that you have to type local host host local host colon and uh, my port name is 8080 okay and let's uh, try to run this okay and let's see that our code is running what it is showing this site can't provide the secure connection okay so what we will do if you are getting this type of error then let me tell you the solution okay so what you can do is you can just remove this https okay you can just write http okay and now let's uh, try to run this okay and now you can see our code is successfully run okay you can see su su app home store shopping we got all of these things and you can see featured and we are not getting any of the featured products okay and whenever you will click on the store then you will not be able to see any of the products here because we haven't fired the sql queries we haven't inserted any of the products in our uh, spring code okay so how to do this thing for that you have to open your mysql and let me tell you that what are the data you have Have to insert in your tables. Okay, so this is basically our article table, and this is insert into article query line number seventy. Okay, so this is the query where I am just inserting all of the articles into our table. Okay, so you have to just run this run this query. For running, you have to just select this, and you have to just run this. Okay. so you can see what it is in no database selected okay so let me select the database okay so for using you have to just type use esop okay and you have to just execute this okay and uh, let's see the console okay let's see the use esop is successfully done and now we will just insert the article values okay so in dumping our data for the article table okay so you can see you have to just select this and after that you have to just run this okay and you can see insert into article and it's 424 row affected okay so 424 records inserted okay so my records are being inserted and now what you can do is you can just close this okay by here okay then maybe it will uh, show you some of the error okay so you have to just close your server then you have to just do the configuration whatever configuration you want to do you can just do the configuration okay <coughs> okay so we have uh, actually uh, my workbench got uh, into not responding state i don't know why it got to not responding state so i have just opened my sql workbench again okay so because whenever you want to do any of the insertion or updation or deletion in your these tables then you have to first uh, close this server from here this is a tomcat server you have to just close this and now you can do the configuration okay so i have just inserted these articles and now what you have to insert but you have to just insert this query insert into brand okay so you have to just select this and you have to run this okay so what it is saying no database selected again because i have just opened this again okay so let me ex use the database and after that uh, there is a one brand okay so this is a brand okay so you have to just execute this query and you can see insert into brand is successfully done and now we will just this is for cart item we don't have to execute this query and this is for category okay so we have to just execute this query insert into category 
and now this is for hypernet sequence we don't want that thing and this is for payment i don't want for payment and this is for role you can just uh, execute this query for the role as well and you can see what it is saying duplicate entry okay so you can just leave as it is okay so because we haven't worked created this sequence okay so there is no need for creating a role okay basically we are having already having two roles okay one is the admin role and one is the customer role okay so shipping we don't want and there is a one size okay so you have to just select this size and you have to execute this okay so size is now inserted in our table and this is for user and we the user order and uh, this is user role we don't want all this so basically what are the things which we have to insert here you have to insert the article you have to insert the brand and you have to insert the size okay uh, these are the three things which you need to insert it means these are the records which you need to insert in your tables okay so now all of the things are done in our database we have inserted the records in our tables now we will just rerun our code okay so for rerunning you have to just simply right click and after that run as and after that spring boot type okay we have to do that spring boot type okay so you can see our console is now opening so we will wait for just uh, some time as it is running okay okay so now let's uh, check okay so it is just firing some of the queries and you can see tomcat started on the port 8080 okay so now we will check on the 8080 port okay so this is our 8080 port and you can see earlier we are not getting any of the articles here okay so whenever i will just refresh this and we will see that we got all of the items here okay so i am just refreshing and you can see we got all of the things here okay so let's move to the home page so you can see this is home page and these are the featured products we got you can see these are the featured products and these are the thing these are the popular brands which i got you can see and this is basically our footer part okay so now my code is successfully running okay so you can just do login sign up whatever you want okay everything will work okay so uh, let me do the register okay so let me do the register let me give the username as uh, SS okay and let me give the password as one two three four five and let me register and now we will see okay so register is successfully done and we don't want to update and now we will just try to purchase one item okay so for purchasing let me select this project uh, this product and let me add to cart and it is added to cart let me move to the shopping cart and we can just increase the quantities and whenever I will click on update and you can see price is also updated okay now we will just do the checkout and you can see after checkout you have to do the next and you have to type any of the address here uh, address address and and country name as well and for the zip code let me write one two three four and after that doing next and after that you have to select any of the thing after that you have to write here one name and after that call number you have to write and uh, this is the cvc and you have to do next okay and after that you have to simply click on the place order okay you can see your order is successfully placed okay and you can just view the order from here okay so our code is now successfully running okay so, okay so by this way you can just simply install any of the full stack projects in your system okay uh, depending on the configurations whatever the configuration it is needed okay so by this way these are the queries which i have fired and our code is successfully running now you can use this project for uh, your college or for internship okay and you can understand this project and now you can just modify this project okay this is a uh, basically su app you can just modify this to the medical or food website you can just modify okay so these are the prerequisites okay you can modify this code as well according to your uh, need okay so that's all for this uh, code session and if you face any type of issues while installing this project in your system uh, while uh, doing the configuration or any type of error if you are facing then you can just text me on the instagram or you can use the comment section okay i will definitely try to help you out there okay if you face any type of issues you can contact me okay the in instagram link will be given in the description box you can just visit to me okay so that's all for today and bye take care of yourself guys i'll meet you soon in the next very interesting tutorial that's all for today's session please hit the subscribe button if you like